Hello, today I'm going to be talking about my pet peeve in the mouse space, what really, really irritates me. But first, I'm going to talk, be talking about what mouse I'm going to get, and I'll probably get the Pulsar X2. Um, if I can't get it tomorrow, which I most likely won't be able to because it releases decently late at night, and also everybody's going to be on the website, obviously, just trying to get it as well, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it. And if I don't, I'll probably get the Fantech Aria since that's coming out this week, and I've heard it has very, very good switches, like some of the best from my, from what I've heard from other people. And, uh, yeah, I'm interested in the Fantech Aria, so I'll probably get that if uh, I can't get the X2 tomorrow. And also I've heard that the X2 doesn't have the best qu click quality. It does, doesn't feel super premium. So that's another thing. Uh, it is a different shape, but still, and uh, I'm not gonna be waiting a fucking two weeks for the mouse to go on Amazon. Yeah, the X2, uh, you have to wait two weeks for that to go on Amazon. I'm not doing that. So yeah, I'm, getting the, I'm gonna get the Fantech already because again, that's releasing this week. I mean, it already released, but it released on AliExpress and uh, I'm not waiting three weeks to get the mouse. <laughs> I could have gotten it uh, when it was in stock, but I don't, again, I don't wanna wait three weeks. I would rather just wait one week and then get it on Amazon and it'll arrive in two days. So yeah, and they'll have more stock on Amazon, a lot more than on AliExpress. Hopefully they will, but I've, I've heard they will, so, and they probably will. But anyways, uh, I talked for a minute about fucking getting a mouse. Uh, let's talk about my actual pet peeve in the mouse space. It, and it is people complaining about a mouse being a clone when most of the time it isn't an exact clone. Uh, everybody said this when the X2 came out, the Pulsar X2. Everybody said that it was a clone of the X1R. No, it is not. If you look at shape comparisons now, and people are still saying this to the to this day, even though the mouse is being released tomorrow, people are still saying, oh, it's an X1R clone. No, it's not. Look at shape comparisons nowadays, and you can see that is a lot different than the X1R. It has a more slim butt. It doesn't have a wide, as, as wide of a butt. And what I mean by that is it's just not as long as the butt was on the X1R on the back of the fucking mouse. And uh, also, it's a lot smaller. But I think I think it's about three or two millimeters smaller, and that might not seem like a huge difference, but it is, and uh, at least for me, for a lot of people, it is, including me. And uh, yeah, it's not an exact clone of the X and One R, like so many people uh, still today say. Like it's a clone of something else, or it's a clone of this. Uh, when again, it has comfort grooves as well on the actual main buttons. It's smaller than the X1R, even the full-sized, medium-sized version is not as tall as the X1R, and also I'm pretty sure it has a little bit of a different hump as well. Uh, maybe it doesn't, but either way it has those three differences from the X1R that makes it stand out, and it's actually a pretty unique mouse, uh, believe it or not. And uh, another thing is that everybody has been saying as well that the Aria is just an Orochi V2 clone. When again, that's wrong. The V2, the V2 is a lot smaller. It's about fucking five. I'm pretty sure it's about five or four millimeters smaller, which is a really big difference, like a huge difference. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure the Aria is has a little bit, a little bit of thicker sides. And uh, yeah, that's again. It's a lot taller, which is a huge difference. If you're wanting a taller Orochi, you'll probably want to get the Aria. Um, and like a very good claw grip and fingertip mouse, you'll probably want to get the Aria. So uh, again, I don't know why everybody is immediately jumping to conclusions saying, oh, this is a clone of something else. Like I get when it comes out, when it first comes out and you don't have any details on the shape, yes, you can call it a clone then, I would say, because you don't know enough information really yet, and it looks similar to the to another mouse, maybe. But a lot of people still adamantly say that it's a clone of something else when the shape has already been released, there are multiple shape comparisons already out, and yet so many people still say, oh, it's just a clone of something else. No, it's not. You are most likely just completely ignoring the differences. And also treating it as if a clone is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing if it's very, very similar to another mouse. If it just fits your shape, if you just if it just fits your shape like your grip, I meant. If it just fits your grip and you like that style of mouse, then get it. Even though it's a clone or something else, so what? It's a little lazy, but I mean, you're treating it as if it's an automatically bad thing to be super similar to another mouse, when most of the time, I'm gonna be honest, most of the time, 
when it's an exact clone of something, they're improving it in some way, or they're they're like improving it drastically like with the xd5 i'm pretty sure from fantech that was super inspired by the intel mouse from microsoft and obviously that was a super old mouse and is really not good today and they kind of modernized it by adding more you know actual good specs into it so again People are acting as if being a clone is a bad thing. When again, most of the time, or at least some of the time, it, it just drastically improves the specs. And that's why they make a clone of something. Because the shape is really good. A lot of people want it. And it's in demand. A lot of people like the shape. So the, they, you know, give them the, their wishes. They give them their wish. The, they give, ah, they give the people who wanted the, that shape, that specific shape, their wishes. And they just make the mouse. And they make it better than the original. I mean, that's not a big deal, and yet so many people still say every time a mouse gets released, oh, it's just a clone of something else. When you could say that with any mouse, except for maybe a few outliers. But basically, every mouse that looks kind of similar to another, everybody says, oh my god, it's a clone. Why? It's not. A clone would be an exact replica, an exact the same thing. That's what a clone means. That's not the end. No, it's not the same thing. It's not the exact same thing. And it has differences. How minute they may be depends on the mouse. But again, it's different. Oh, I I'm so done ranting about this. Just again, the Fantech Aria is not a clone, an exact clone of the Orochi. It's similar to the Orochi, but it's again, not a clone. And the X2 also is similar, has similar things to the X2, the X, the X2, the XM1R and the G Pro X, but again, it's not a clone. It's kind of as if the XM1R and the G Pro X had a baby, but that doesn't mean it's a clone and the exact same thing as the other two mice. No, nowhere, it's nowhere even close to the same as those two. Anyways, that's it, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.